we made it out. It's 8.30 a.m. We're gonna do some trout fishing today. Hopefully we can put some fish on this stringer here. So I have a couple announcements coming today and I'll talk a little bit more about that once we get our lines in, but I hate to be out on the water and not fishing, so I wanna get a bait in here quickly. So this is a little jerk bait made by Ozuri. It's called the Pins Minnow. And supposedly it dives down well, actually, it doesn't sink, but I think it's going to dive down maybe three or four feet, four or five feet, maybe, depending on how far back and how fast we're trolling. So, one thing that I like to do um, when I'm trolling any kind of lure is just, you know, go at a certain speed. And I, mean, I have this motor, so I can kind of control the speed really easily with this. Um, but if you're on a regular pedal kayak or you know anything any kind of motored vessel um, just kind of get to a certain speed make note of what speed you're going you know a lot of gps's or uh, even your you know even on your phone you can get apps that'll tell you how fast you're going and just kind of make note of how fast you're going and what kind of action that lure is giving off in the water so right now i'm going about two miles an hour on this thing i'm it's at a power five out of ten so half speed and that lure is giving pretty good action, but I think it'll do even a little bit better if I can go a little faster. Yeah, I kind of like that. Idea. So, anyways, I'll get at this speed for now. Looks pretty good. So we're gonna get it back, not super far, maybe 100 feet or so. I'd like to get it away from the kayak, just to get away from all the commotion. I don't think it matters that much. These fish aren't super lined or boat shy, I don't think. We're pretty much the only ones on the water today, so don't have to worry about a lot of boat traffic. But anyway, first line in, and I can see the action of the lure on the tip of the rod there, so I know it's working properly. Looking good. All right, now we'll get our second rod in. Oh, oh look at that. Fish on already. Fish on already. Oh man, they didn't even get the second rod in. Look at that. We've been in the water for 30 seconds right away. Didn't even get to setting everything up. Well, I guess I guess we we're going at a good speed. Whatever that action that was giving off definitely got the job done. Football. Get him in this pro marnet. There we go. Just like that. Fish in the box. Didn't expect to get this in this early, but uh, this is a pro mar new pro marnet for me. Um, it's a nice rubber coating, so if you do want to catch a release, it takes good care of the fish. And uh, you'll see it's pretty deep here. I'm actually going to be using this one out in the salt water more this year. Uh, we'll get to that later, but, but yeah, first fish here. Let's uh, put them on the stringer. All right, there's fish number one. Nice little stock trout, probably a pound and a half, two pounds maybe. Really fat fish, super footballish. And get back to trolling. Man, I didn't even get to get my second rod in yet. A little bit of a cluster here. So let's get it all sorted out. Quick break in the action to thank the sponsor of today's video. The sponsor of today's video is Aper. Aper makes a wide variety of different pool cleaning products to fit your needs. Their mission is to create a carefree lifestyle through technology and innovation. We will be featuring two of Aper's products in today's video. The first is the Aper Pilot H2, a handheld rechargeable pool vacuum. This product is great for cleaning hard to reach areas in a pinch. The second is Aper's 2024 flagship product, the Scuba S1. The Scuba S1 is designed for large in-ground pools up to 1,600 square feet. It features what they call caterpillar treads, which means better traction and superior mobility. As you can see here, the Scuba S1 is able to travel right over lights and drains in the pool without missing a beat. The S1 also features four different cleaning modes, 
The first is automatic mode, which is great for cleaning pools that you need the full package. If you're interested in cleaning a more specific portion of the pool, you can utilize the wall or floor cleaning modes for a more targeted clean. Finally, there's eco mode. This mode is great for people on the go. It cleans the pool for 45 minutes every 48 hours to ensure the pool stays clean throughout the week. Look at all that sludge. For more information about any of the products shown here, click the link in the video description. Thank you again to April for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get back in the water. One thing I love about trolling plugs, it doesn't even matter, it seems like any type of fish, whether it be trout, striper, halibut, whatever, when they hit it, there's no doubt. I mean, it's like a grab and run. All right, back in the game. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, no. Short strike. No donut luck today, but today I brought some Girl Scout cookies at. When it comes to Girl Scout cookies, you gotta go to Thin Mints. I keep my troll going just in case we get lucky and double up. Second fish of the day? He hit it and then knocked slack and I thought he came off for a second. I trolled all around, it's not a huge lake that I'm on, but I trolled all the way around the perimeter and now I'm right back where I started where I got the first bite. So I think, um, actually I did get one strike over on the other side, but um, I feel like we gotta concentrate our efforts in this area because it seems like this is where the majority of the fish are. Waking up a little bit. That's some energy. The sun's coming out too, that's nice. It's a little cold this morning. Sometimes with those traditional, you know, mesh nets, or whatever they're made out of, you know, the traditional ones, the hooks can get really tangled up in the net here. Got a pain on your hand, but not with this one. Nice little stalker. Not huge, but take it. Another pound, pound and a half, maybe fish type fish. Same lure. This is on that pins metal. It's, uh, I don't know what color this is, I can find it later, but it's got pink on the top, orange on the bottom, and some blue spots on the side. Seems to be working fairly well. This is the sinking version. I did get a bite on the floating version as well earlier this morning, but if I get one more fish on this sinking version, I'm gonna switch this side over to that same lure. Or same, same uh, type of lure, at least. Maybe I'll try a different color. Well, we're talking about different colors and sizes. I mean, look at all these jerk baits that I brought with me today. We've got different colors, it's like a different shape. That's it. Hold on. Talk about that. This one. Busy talking about lures, and this lure right here. This is that pink one again. This one is getting slammed. That was the third fish on this one. I actually had a couple of short strikes on this other one, but I might switch out the color there in a second. We'll, we'll give it a few more minutes here, but I might change out the color on this one. I feel like this this side is doing a lot better for some reason, and I need to figure that out. But anyways, let's get this back in real quick, and then I can get back to what I was talking about, about the, the lures. Alright, well hopefully, we'll see, maybe we'll be rudely interrupted again, but anyway, what I was saying about the lures, I got all kinds of different shapes and sizes, 
These are similar to the ones that I have tied on right now. I have another, here's that one, this one. The El Minnow, a little bit of a different style, a little bigger body. Right, a little bit different action. I haven't tried it yet, but anyway, all of these are made by Yozuri, and that's because I joined the Yozuri Pro Staff, and they have a wide variety of different fishing products. But one of the main things that I'm going to be featuring on this channel are their plugs. So we've got a couple of them tied on right now. Obviously, they're working pretty well for trout. Um, I also have some bigger plugs for that I'm going to be using out in the salt water, and in particular, I'm really excited about a couple of these that I want to try casting for striped bass in the surf. So once the summer season comes around and those fish are coming around in the surf, hunting in shallow, I'm looking forward to throwing some of those lures and I think they're gonna do quite well. So a lot more stuff from Missouri gonna be coming to the channel this year. And uh, today we're using the trout stuff. Everything that you see in today's video, I'll be linking down in the description if you wanna get some of your own. But yeah, super excited to join the Missouri Pro Staff. Shout out to them for welcoming me in and uh, look forward to more Catching more fish with their lures. Here's one. There we go. There's a fish. Okay, well, right when I was about to change the color on this side, now it gets a fish, so I'm gonna have to stick with it now. This was, this is the floating version of the Pins Minnow in a Fire Tiger color. So green on the top and orange on the bottom. And I kind of had a feeling this one would work because I've had a lot of luck on Fire Tiger in the past. Another fish just rolled next to me here. Um, but so far today, this one has been a little better, at least at conversion. I had a couple of short strikes on this floor before this bite. There we go, there's a good little run. Jumped right in the net. So we got him good right in the bottom of the jaw there. Nice little fish. Pops right out. No problem. I literally had this lure pulled out already because I was going to switch it out, but I'll just stick with it for now. It seems to be working. Back in the game. Hit hard. I, I mean, I you know I was saying earlier that they always hit hard on the plug, but they don't hit even harder than the last than the previous ones. This one's as big as it's pretending to be. It should be the biggest one we've got so far. Man. I do think this is the biggest one we've got so far. There he is. Just like that. Number four. All right, back in the game. Look for one more. All right, we'll take a second to show you the setup here. We uh, had some motor issues. I think I need to redo the wiring down internally, but um, so we'll be paddling for a little while. Hopefully we can get the last one on the paddle here, but just really quickly show you the setup. I think the rod and reel is not super important. I like to use something pretty light. It's an ultralight seven foot spinning on this side, ultralight eight foot uh, casting setup on this side is actually my kokanee rod but I think it works great for trout too. And I like to use braided mainline. One, it'll let me put a little more line on the spool. And then two, I think it not only sets the hook a little bit better when the fish, are, when the fish hit it because there's no stretch in the line, but also I feel like I can see the action of the lure a little bit better. And I just feel like it works a little bit nicer. So anyways, I have a 15 pound braided mainline. 
to a little swivel there. And then about you know, three, four foot of leader. This is, I believe this is six pound fluorocarbon. And I like to use a little snap there or snap swivel either way. Uh, so that I can trade out lures, different colors, different sizes, a little bit easier. And then this is that Yozuri pins minnow. This is the fire tiger color. This one got a couple of hits, it landed one. Honestly, I've been getting a lot of short strikes on this this one. And I feel like maybe that's because of the color. Um, the color that's been doing better is this one right here, the orange on the bottom, pink on top. That's where I landed, I think three of the four fish that I landed are on that one. And then I've also had a couple more short strikes that didn't come to the net. So both are getting fished, but I think if I had to choose one, this one would be it. Taking a quick break here. Let's get back on the troll, see if we can get that last fish. There we go. Got one. Fish on. All right. If I can get this one to stay pinned, this will be number five. All over the place. Now it's out in front. No motor, this is old school fish. Just under paddle power. Get him in the net here. Come on in. All right. All right, that's a limit. All right, number five. All right, and just like that, in just a couple hours, we got a limit. These pins minnows really did work today. Man, especially this color. I mean, I caught one, I think I landed on this color. Had a few short strikes, but this one really got the job done. That pink on top, orange on bottom. I don't know what it was about the color, but man, it was getting the action today. So anyways, like I said, I'll leave all the gear linked in the description down below. The net, lures. Yeah, you know, these lures, along with all the other ones that I've got from Missouri, really, really well made. I can just tell they're gonna hold up for the long haul. No no worry at all about these hooks bending out, split rings, anything like that. And you know, on the bigger game lures, they have even bigger stuff. So I really think it's perfect to get the job done here in the Bay Area. And just to back that up, let me just show you the stringer of fish that we hauled in today in just a few hours. Nice limit of stock trout there, stocked rainbow trout that is. There's all five right there in a line. Interesting how different some of the colors and you know sizes of the fish are. Some have more spots, some have fewer. Like this one right here is like super pale. But some of the other ones more traditionally rainbow trout colors. Yeah, special shout out to some of my non-local viewers. You know, the stock trout thing, or the my, most of my saltwater stuff is pretty local. I mean, a lot of the halibut, salmon, lingcod that's mostly west coast but you know stock trout no matter where you live as long as it's in the u.s somewhere i don't have any research on this but i gotta believe that almost every state if not all 50 have some kind of stock trout or wild trout population and these minnows wherever they are these guys are surely to get the job done that's gonna wrap it up for today quick video out here it's my local lake limited trout in just under a couple hours so Anyway, thank you all for watching. We'll see you on the next one.